Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to make your own Dippin' Dots. Um, it's really simple ingredients, pretty much all you need is ice cream, some random cups and bowls, flavor injectors, and the hardest thing to get is going to be liquid nitrogen. So, if you have liquid nitrogen, this is so easy. If, it, if you don't have liquid nitrogen, find some. Okay? First thing I did is I got Neapolitan ice cream, which is chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And you can't start with frozen ice cream, you have to melt it. So I'm going to put it in the microwave. Just enough to get it liquidy. Okay, I've just melted the ice cream so it's pretty much like really thick chocolate milk. So I have my three ice cream flavors laid out. And what's going to happen is my assistant and I are going to fill up these three bowls with liquid nitrogen, which looks pretty much like smoking water. We're going to pour it in here, and then we're going to drip using these syringes into there, drop by drop, very slowly. Okay? So we're going to have three different flavors with three different dip dots and we'll mix them together later. Okay, we've just finished dripping our dripping dots, dipping dots, and if you go too quickly, it'll make these big, huge ice cream clumps. So you gotta be careful not to go too quickly, but if you go just the right speed, you'll end up with perfectly shaped dipping dot beads. Now these are still extremely, extremely cold, way, way too cold to eat. So what we have to do is we're gonna use a spoon to carefully pick them up and put them in a separate bowl. So we're going to scoop them all together, and just like the real Dippin' Dots that you buy at ballparks or at theme parks, they stay separate, and you can clearly see the different flavors stuck together. You can mix them up, and you can still choose which flavor you want to eat. I'm going to finish putting these in the bowl, and in just a minute they'll be warm enough to eat. We've just moved all three flavors into one bowl, and as you can see, it looks just like the Dippin' Dots you buy for more like $6 a bowl, but we made ours for very, very cheap. Um, they still have a pretty good ways to cool off. They're still about negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is crazy cold. So you have to wait for them to get almost and about to melt before they, so they won't burn your tongue. You can make Dippin' Dots with almost any flavor ice cream or sorbet or even yogurt. But the one thing I'd recommend not using is ice cream that has chunks in it, like strawberry chunks or walnuts or even chocolate chunks, because that'll just clog up the thing and make a really gross mess. So if it's smooth ice cream, you can just melt it, drip it into liquid nitrogen, and you have your own Dippin' Dots. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes since we finished putting our Dippin' Dots into the bowl, and what I've been doing is been constantly stirring them to make sure they heat evenly. If you don't stir them, and you don't let them warm up enough, you'll get frostbite on your mouth and your tongue. It'll stick like you're licking a metal pole in the winter. It's very painful, and I don't recommend doing it at all. So make sure they're plenty warm. They're just about to melt. But now that they're ready, they're just like store-bought Dippin' Dots, and they're ready to eat.